Sakshi or Saksi Sanskrit, Saksi means observer, eyewitness or the supreme being the one that lends its shine chitchaya to the ego part of the subtle body, which consists of the ever-changing mind, the decision-making intellect, the memory and the illusory ego. In Hindu philosophy, the word, Saksi or witness refers to the pure awareness that witnesses the world but does not get affected or involved. Sakshi is beyond time, space and the triad of experiencer, experiencing and experienced. Sakshi witnesses all thoughts, words and deeds without interfering with them or being affected by them. Other than Sakshi there is nothing else in the entire universe. With regard to the word, Sakshi Sakshi, used in the following verse from Shvetashvatara Upanishad, Eko Deva Sarvabhutesu Guda Sarvavyapi Sarvabhatantaratma Karmadyaksa Sarvabhatadivasa Sakshi Sita Kevalo Nirganaska The same deity remains hidden in all beings and is all-pervasive and the indwelling self of all beings. He is the supervisor of actions, lives in all beings, he is the witness, the bestower of intelligence, the absolute and devoid of the three gunas, Shvetashvatara Upanishad sl. V.11 Panini states that the same indicates a direct seer or eyewitness Panini Sutras VE.91, Sakshi means Ishvara, the Sita, Sita the soul self-consciousness, who is the witness of all, who gives consciousness to every human being, thereby making each rational and discriminatory. Vedanta speaks of mind chitta or antakarana internal instrument, and matter as the subtle and gross forms of one and the same reality, being the subtle aspect of matter, mind is not a tangible reality. The field of mind involves the duality of the seer and the seen, the observer and the observed which duality is overcome in the field of pure consciousness. DRG Dershya Vivaka tells us, when form is the object of observation or Dershiyam, then the eye is the observer or DRK, when the eye is the object of observation, then the mind is the observer, when the pulsations of the mind are the objects of observation, then Sakshi or the witnessing self is the real observer, and it is always the observer, and, being self-luminous, can never be the object of observation. When the notion and the attachment that one is the physical body is dissolved, and the Supreme Self is realized, wherever one goes, there one experiences samadhi. Sakshi, the Atman, the unchangeable eternal reality, is the pure consciousness and knowledge, in which regard Sankara explains that knowledge does not destroy or create, it only illumines, that the senses indriyas are not the mind, the mind uses them as an implement. The Varaha Upanishad IV refers to the Bhumaka stage of development of wisdom which is of the form of pranava AUM or om, as formed of or divided into, akara, ukara, makara and ardhmatra, which is on account of the difference of saintula gross, sukshama Subtle, bija seed or causal and sakshi witness whose avisthas states are waking dreaming dream less sleep and turiya sakshi which is turiya is the essence the faculty which perceives the individual personality as sakshi or witness or the higher ego mind manas ego ahankara and sakshi all perform different functions but that difference of functions does not mean difference in nature or essence Indian philosophy discovered the concept of Sakshi, the ultimate observer, or witness behind the sense of individuality, or the ego. The Sakshi is the timeless being which witnesses all this ceaseless flow and change in the world of thought and things. References, <references>